Hey, blessings, prayer warriors. God bless you in this morning, afternoon, or evening if you're starting off your day. Blessings to your new day. If you're ending your day, I pray you had a great day. Or if you're in the middle of your day, enjoy the rest of your day. Anyway, it's Thursday, March 9th. Let's get right into it. Again, this paper is such a blessing. Everything all on one sheet here. Our United States, today we're praying for the state of Wyoming, the lowest, I believe it's the lowest populated state. It has a population of 578,000 people. Evangelical Christians is 27%. Our prayer focus today will be for children, for children. Our nation that we're praying for is Central Asia, Asia. Please pray for all the partner churches that will be holding services and doing the gospel outreach in the upcoming month. Pray the Lord will touch the hearts of new believers at this time and that many people will accept Jesus into their heart and be saved. Pray for unity among all the churches as well. Amen and amen to that. Our Bible reading today is Mark chapter 12 verses 1 through 27. I love they try to catch Jesus with, you know, who do we give our money to? He says, give me a coin. Whose image and inscription is on this? Verse 16, they said to him, Caesar. And Jesus answered and said to them, render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are, that are God. And they marveled at him. <laughs> That's our Jesus, the one who could wash his disciples' feet, have such wisdom, and created everything, that beautiful moon that we've seen the last couple days, even that little bit of snow. Though our sins be as scarlet, because of his blood, he has made them white as snow. I don't know how red makes white, but I'll take the blood to make it white. Amen? All right, let's go ahead and pray as we... Start this day, end this day, or whichever part of this day. Lord, again, we bless you and thank you for this new day. Lord, why do I rejoice all the time? Because the suffering of this present age is not worthy to be compared to what is in store for us. It's going to be exceedingly, abundantly above all that we can even ask or think. Think we are joint heirs with Christ, heirs of God, joint heirs with Christ. We are going to operate throughout all eternity in your great work and enjoy the splendor of the celestial city, the new earth that you have created for us, your people, your children. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Righteousness will rule the nations. No more someone being murdered going over the border of Mexico or in a city. No more women being raped or abused or children being hurt or people, identity theft, people being stolen from and on and on and on and on. I thank you today, Father, that you, are gonna, it's just gonna be amazing. And we're looking for this curse to be removed from our earth, Father. But till then, we're gonna pray and we're gonna do, right, church family? If we pray only, doesn't get anything done, doesn't get it all done. But if we pray and get out there and do what we can, it gets done. Thank you, Father. Today in our United States, we lift up the state of Wyoming before you. We pray for the Christians there, the 27% of that population, a small population, Lord. And we pray for this state, Lord. We pray for the governor. We pray for people who are in charge there, Lord. We pray, Father, as our prayer focus for children, as we see the assault by this, this agenda that's out there to, to totally confuse our children towards gender, towards any other thing, Lord. We break that in Jesus' name. We pray for our young children. We surround them right now. We pray for our personal children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. We surround them with your love. We surround them with your protection. We surround them with your goodness, Lord. We thank you, Father. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against them, you shall pull down. Prayer warriors, today, pull out Psalm 91. Speak it over your children, your grandchildren, over your family. 
Speak it over the children of Christian Faith Fellowship Church, your neighbors, on and on. This assault is, is demonic that has come against our young people. Lord, we lift up Central Asia before you, and we do pray for the churches that are working on this upcoming month outreaches, Lord, and we pray for unity among the brethren. How beautiful it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It's like the oil going down from Aaron's head right down his beard and onto him. Lord, oh, unity, unity, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we pray for these on this ninth day, Lord. We lift up our world before you. We pray for Israel. We see what's going on. America sending big people over there because they know Israel's ready to, to strike Iran, to prevent this nuclear bomb from being made from a nation that said they writ, wrote right on their missiles, death to Israel. So, Lord, give Netanyahu wisdom. We also pray, pray over the Antichrist and all the riots that are going on there that are trying dis to disrupt this new government, Lord. Crazy. Same things that are going on here are going on there. So we lift up the United States of America. We lift up our world. We pray for the lost, the unchurched, and the unsaved. And we thank you today that you're doing a great work. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We lift up the prayer cards that have come in this week and the prayer request. Again, we pray for those that are in nursing homes, those that are in hospitals from our church family, our friends, Lord. We pray, Father, if any are going to die soon, that they will know Christ and not enter into a Christless eternity. We pray, Father, to die, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. So we don't fear death. We just want to live out our life that you have for us, Lord. So we pray for them. We pray for those. I see lumps over here. I see cancers and different things here. We do pray over these different needs, Lord. We don't know them all, but you know them all. We pray for the prayer requests that have come in also, Lord, and we pray for fellow brothers and sisters. Now, Lord, as we start wrapping up, I pray for this precious Team Jesus, amen, these precious prayer warriors that are with me each day, praying and interceding, and I know many of them kick off their day to start their times of prayer, Lord. Some end their day and have a time of prayer after we pray together. I thank you for that. We lift up National Day of Prayer. It's coming up in May. I lift up Aaron that's going to be running it fully this year without our precious Reverend Bob there. In fact, we lift him up before you. We thank you that he's getting stronger and stronger every day, Lord, and we're going to see a full recovery there. We love you, sir. We honor you. Now, I pray for these blessed people, and I pray your blessings upon them. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his confidence upon you and give you his shalom. I thank you for your seven, seven covenant names that you have given us. You are today the Lord our shepherd, and we thank you for guiding and leading us. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hey, God is good. Come on, Psalm 91. Speak it over your family. Amen. God bless.